Netflix has had a lot of action films already come out in the last couple of years. Some are very forgettable, some are entertaining, and some are kind of right in the middle. And this week, we have the brand new film called Kate. Where does it fall? Let's find out. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing Kate, the latest action adventure crime film coming to Netflix, which stars the likes of, of course, Mary Elizabeth Winesett and Woody Harrelson. It's about a female assassin who finds out she has 24 hours to get vengeance on her murderer before she dies. Now, the trailer for this one looked cool, but it also looked like something I have completely seen 100% all the time before. And honestly, it is. I enjoyed this for what the movie was overall, but it did feel very forgettable at times when it comes down to the actual story. Especially when I look back at Gunpowder Milkshake, which I really liked. I know it was kind of diverse on some people, and maybe this will be the same way for Kate, because some people I've talked to really enjoy this movie, some people absolutely hated this film, and again, I'm kind of in that middle realm. I liked the movie. It wasn't great, but it was entertaining. Of course, if you guys are new here and you guys love talking movies and being up to date and all sorts of that great stuff, make sure to hit that like subscribe button before you head on out as well as hitting that notification bell so you guys are already always on time and getting those notifications when a new video is posted as well as comment down below. And let me know your guys' thoughts. Are you guys excited for this movie? Did you like the trailer? Well, let's have that great conversation down below. So I think one of the big things I want to give this is Mary Elizabeth Winestead has always been one of those actresses who is very under the radar but nails it in every single performance. And it continues here. She is great. She is a badass. And we got a little bit of this element back with Birds of Prey. But this one, she is straight up going all John Wick. It doesn't matter how torn up, how beat up, or how sick she is from that poison that got her. When she has 24 hours to live, she is going balls to the wall, doesn't matter, and she is unstoppable in those moments. No matter how many cuts, bullet wounds, doesn't matter, she is there. And I love how Winesett is able to portray that because one of my big things that I love about John Wick is while he is a complete badass, you believe it. When this guy gets hurt, he is still struggling but still fighting and awesome in all those rights. And Winesett is the same way. And I really dug her character in here. While it's not very deep at all, the struggle she has is something that I really overall dug, and the action set pieces are great. I mean, almost every single one of them, while not memorable per se, you can at least see what is going on. Something that I have been so prevalent about when it comes to action sequences. I get so annoyed when I see a film like Snake Eyes or something else of that nature where this camera is completely shaky. But I understand when you're able to move it along, play around with the action, and have fun with these set pieces. Again, they could have been a little bit more designed to be maybe more creative, but they're brutal, they're bloody, and it makes it entertaining. In fact, one of the most creative set pieces we're talking about creativity, especially when it comes to the action, because we get so many action films, whether on streaming or in theaters, the big thing for this film that it has is there's this one sequence where all the walls are like black and white, the decor, all that sorts of stuff, and she's going in to get answers, and obviously it turns into a bloodbath, but when she's killing people and their blood splatters up, it kind of looks like a weird mosaic painting, and I just found that to be a really unique sequence, and again, engaging. I was engaged throughout each and every single set piece, and while the film does go on a little bit too long, and maybe there was a couple sequences that they could have cut out, I was still sitting there going, yeah, this is pretty entertaining. I didn't even get to talk about it. We don't talk about how great Woody Harrelson is. He might play almost the same damn role in every single movie, but it's just something about his voice, his charismatic, his, his charisma that he brings. He's just a great overall character actor, and I love him as an actor. Also, I want to give a shout out to Miku Martina, who is the young girl in here that Kate is partnered with throughout most of it. And I actually thought she did a pretty good job as well. She's a newcomer to the field, never seen her in anything before, but good job. Excited to see what you do next. And of course, like I said, said this was an entertaining movie but it was also kind of forgettable at moments i can't tell you really anything about the story other than that it was pretty predictable you can tell from the second the story kind of starts to finally kick off to the very end of what's going on there's not a single twist or turn that is really much surprising to me and maybe bar none one but even the major twists and turns in here i was like yep saw that yeah i saw that happening and i definitely saw that happening because it's stuff that we have seen thousands of times before and i just sat there going 
okay, like, yes, the concept is cool that she has 24 hours to live and she knows that, hey, I know where to start out and to kind of follow along this mystery, but I wish the mystery would have been a little bit better per se even a little bit more race against the clock i never felt that pressure that i only have like again 24 hours to live i never felt that pressure that she does have that 24 hours to live and i think it would have added to the more of the tension throughout the entire film as well i think maybe that just goes down to the directing of this because while the directing again for the action is great when it comes down to storytelling and keeping that pacing alive, because for a film that's an hour and 46 minutes, it felt longer than that. And I do think if this film maybe was an hour, 25, hour and a half, it would have hit that sweet spot where you saw that tension rising up. But there's a lot of building blocks to the world where reality is we're never going to revisit this world ever again because Weinstead's character, I mean... 24 hours to live even with that said there is one sequence in here and i think a lot of people it will take them out of the experience i kind of dug it it's kind of in the mixed category for me but there's a car chase sequence that is completely cgi and while i dug it i can completely understand someone watching this being like what is this it looks like a playstation 2 cutscene seriously even again i i found this film entertaining I, I like i didn't watch it and hate it i just watched it and i was like this was good it was entertaining but forgettable and I really do think this film would have elevated itself if it was to not feel so similar to so many different things that we have going on in today, and especially other films in the same genre. Weinstead is absolutely the big standout in here, and the action is right next to there. But even then, none of the set pieces feel super unique to itself. It's just very well choreographed and filmed. And I like that. Bar none except one. There was one set piece that I actually thought was pretty cool. But even then, the cinematography was just something I've seen before. The story, definitely something I've seen before. Predictable as well. I just sat there going, this was good! But I will never watch this film again, and that's where it leads me to say that Kate is a C+. Really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. Again, some people I know are loving this film, some people I know are hating this film, some people are in the middle like me. Seems this is going to be kind of a diverse one to kind of talk about, especially between action fanatics like me. So let's have that great conversation down below, guys. Make sure to head on over to Samsung Films on how to see films early. And of course, it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters, because without you, I would not be able to do this. So of course, until next time, stay classy.